Today is January 28th, 2024. Recently, I listened to an interview with Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest athletes that's ever existed and someone known for his incredible work ethic and just indomitable mindset. And one of the things that Kobe talked about was how when he was 11 or 12 and he, he played basketball in this summer league and over the course of the entire summer, he didn't score one point. Not one point. Kobe Bryant, one of the best basketball players of all time, didn't score one point. And his dad came to him and said, you know what? No matter what happens, I still love you. And for Kobe, that was a transformational experience because he knew that even if he failed, he was still loved. And that gave him permission to try really hard and, and to fail. You see, it's one thing to be able to embark on an endeavor and believe that you're going to succeed, right? So you go and you have faith. It could be something you're doing even with faith in God and saying, hey, I'm going to do this for you, God, and I believe that you're with me, and so this thing is going to succeed. It's one thing to have that kind of faith. But if you can go out and say, you know what? Even if I fail, I know that you still love me, God. That's another story. Because that allows you to try anything. And the thing about life is that no matter what we do, we're never going to be successful 100% of the time. There's always going to be failure. And if you get your identity and your worth wrapped up in whether you succeed or you fail, life is going to be very difficult. Because when those failures come, you're going to want to just give up. You're going to feel like an intense pain inside, like it's actually you that's the failure. That there's something wrong with you. That there's something broken with you. And so that's a really rough way to live your life. But if you know that you're unconditionally loved. And that your performance doesn't impact your worth and your identity. That gives you a lot of power because now you can take risks. You can push farther even than someone who believes they're going to succeed. Because that person might try really hard and they might work really hard to get to a, uh, a level where they succeed, but they're never going to push past that point where they might fail because if they fail it's too hard on them but if you have unconditional love you have the freedom to go and try things and push the limits knowing that no matter what happens you have that unconditional love to fall back on and that's the power of developing a relationship with God when you know your Abba loves you it gives you freedom to embrace life and to try new things and to go out and see what's possible and to know that your worth and your identity isn't wrapped up 
in how well you perform or don't perform. Yes, you still you still want to succeed. You still have goals and you still would like to to do things well. But you know that your identity and your value isn't tied up in those things. So I thought that was a great lesson from Kobe. And I just wanted to riff on it a little bit based on a relationship with God because God is truly the only one who can provide true unconditional love. So it's why it's so important to get to know him. But that's all I got for today. Peace.